Good evening everybody, how are you doing? Brother Declan here. You know, I was falling asleep last night and um, I think I was asleep. And I was awoken out of sleep that uh, I had to preach on this. Um, I had to preach on Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah. Christ said that would be one of the signs of his second coming. He said it'd be like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot. And we're living in that now. With all this LGBT stuff and all of these homosexuals. And I have nothing against any of these people. I pray for their salvation. For God loves them but he hates their sin. But you cannot live in sin and expect to go to heaven. It just doesn't work like that. God's a holy God. You must repent of your sins and be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ and reborn by the power of the Holy Spirit. John 3. Okay. And now God, Christ Jesus, Father Jehovah and His Holy Spirit saved me from much sin. I said it in one of my other videos. I was a dirty dog. I was... Uh, I was a drug addict for 23 years. Helpless, hopeless drug addict. Right? Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit came upon me in the back of the church. His sweet fragrance, the sweet Savior he see, uh, he's described in, um, I think it's um, in, in Corinthians 1 as this, oh, Ephesians, sorry, Ephesians I believe it is, he's described as a sweet saviour, a sweet smell, that's the smell that came upon me and saved me, right, and we must be holy for the Lord Jesus Christ and our Father Jehovah and we must ask the Holy Spirit to deal with the sin that's in us, you know, and um, I had a great victory over sin this last week I was addicted to chewing tobacco for years for years I was addicted to it and I was begging the Lord Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit to deal with this sin in me and God dealt with this sin and he took it away from me and praised the Lord Jesus Christ for it's another victory in him God is a mighty God the God we serve the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, our Heavenly Father, Jehovah Jireh, is an unbelievable God that we serve and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who came to die for our sins in the flesh. He was 100% man, 100% God. He took all of that sin upon His life, upon His shoulders, and He lay His life down freely so that we may have life. You know, and anybody who rejects Jesus Christ, anybody who rejects Jesus Christ's love and what he did for us to set us free, to save us from hell. I don't want to say a word that I'm going to regret, but they're foolish. They're foolish. And they're very deceived. But just remember, you know, Jesus, as I say, saved me, took me out of sin, saved me and washed me clean. Of 23 years of drug addiction, I was a heroin and crack cocaine addict for 23 years. I should be dead. I should be dead long ago. You know, overdoses. I overdosed one time. I was dead for 10 minutes and my heart was flatlined, stopped. And God had a plan for my life. To be speaking the gospel right now. Boldly preaching the gospel to all the lost in the world that will listen. You know, I preach the gospel to anybody who will listen to me on the streets of Boston. Anybody. I'm not afraid to preach the gospel. I, I speak the gospel boldly in the name of Jesus Christ. Because he set me free. I know the power of God. The power of God resides in me now, the Holy Spirit. I speak boldly of Jesus everywhere I go. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. For he is holy. He's holy and he wants his people to be holy for him. Praise God. Hallelujah to our King Jesus. But remember brothers and sisters. When God pulls us out of sin. We are not to go back to that sin. 
And I'm just going to give you a quick example of somebody who looked back upon their sin. And it overthrew those cities and all the plain. And all the inhabitants of the cities. And that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him. And became a pillar of salt. Yes, yes brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about Lot's wife. She looked back upon the sinful uh, city of Sodom and Gomorrah and she became a pillar of salt. That is an illustration for anybody who goes back into sin. For the wages of sin is death. But the fear of the Lord is to part from sin. The fear of of God is the first sign of wisdom. Brothers and sisters, come out of this sinful world, for we have been made, we have been separated from this sinful world through the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, many people in this world that call themselves Christians and that still love their sports and still love their drink and alcohol and still love smoking their cigarettes. And whatever else they're doing, loving the, the, loving the world basically. The love of God is not in them. For God said if you love the world or anything in this world, the love of him is not in you. We are called to be separated from this world. You know. Destruction is coming upon this earth real soon. People are very asleep. They just signed a new bill here now in the United States of America. For the... The Marines, for the Marines to come onto the streets of, of America, right, and martial law is soon to come, utter destruction is coming real soon, the cards are all right before people's eyes, and people are blind, they're blinded by the world and by the things of the world and what the things of the world have to offer them. They're blinded by the money that Satan has to offer them, the fancy house, the fancy women, the fancy cars, the fancy boats, the fancy motorbikes. All of it will be gone soon, very soon. All the signs are here now that Jesus Christ has spoken about. They're all here now. And I'm a watchman on the wall. And I'm warning people. Because your blood is not going to be on my hands. Once I warn you of the coming destruction... The blood is on your own shoulders. I'm warning you in the name of Jesus Christ to repent of your sins. And be saved for eternal life through the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins wholeheartedly and ask Jesus Christ into, into your life. Into your life as your Lord and your Savior and your God. I love you all in Jesus Christ. Spread these videos anybody who looks at them. Because I'm a spirit filled man. And I'm telling you that I'm telling you the truth through the power of the Holy Ghost that speaks through me and in me. God is my witness. This world is about to come into utter chaos. It's coming. It's upon us now. I can feel it. I can feel it and I can see it and I can sense it. It's all around us now. Repent in the name of Jesus. I love you in Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus upon your lives. Be blessed and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah to the King of Kings.